Hey guys, welcome to the Maine Coon Central YouTube channel. Maine Coon Central is the number one Maine Coon cat website and it is packed full of everything you'll ever need to know about the Maine Coon cat breed. Today I'm going to talk to you about Maine Coon cat breeders in the United States. Now when I initially did research on this particular area, I was surprised how hard it was to find information by state. So to help you guys out, I produced a really in-depth article which you can find the full details of over at maincooncentral.com and you can go by state um, that you live in and find the recommended Maine Coon cat breeders. Finding a reliable and trustworthy Maine Coon breeder can be a challenge especially when you live in a country as large as the United States. So if you're looking to adopt or purchase a Maine Coon kitten or cat, use our Maine Coon cat breeders in the United States list to start your journey. With so many Maine Coon kittens for sale in the United States and a significant rise in backyard breeders, otherwise known as BYB, how does the average individual determine which Maine Coon breeders are trustworthy? Well, the best place to start your search is by searching for breeders that are firstly, registered Maine Coon cat breeders. Secondly, listed by cat breeding clubs, i.e. TICA or the CFA or MCBFA. Alternatively, you could find breeders that have been recommended by other Maine Coon owners. And finally, sellers that are active on social media platforms offering regular advice to viewers without trying to sell a kitten are actually quite a good um, source to find a reliable, trustworthy breeder. But please do use your gut instinct to determine if you feel the breeder is trustworthy. Does the breeder have a fully functioning website? Do they have a social platform presence? Google online reviews of a breeder. Now these are very valuable because people like to tell you very quickly if something goes wrong. So these are a great place to start. Does the breeder have a good knowledge of the breed? Now, if they don't have a good knowledge, stay clear, because clearly they are not lovers of the Maine Coon cat breed. And if anything goes wrong, you might have an issue. Number five, is the breeder willing to let you see the Maine Coon kitten in their home environment? Now, this is actually more important than you'd think. Any breeder that's trying to stop you do that or try to make you meet somewhere else, to show you the kitten, well, you should stay clear of those people. Um, the best time is to see that kitten in its home environment, see how it is playing, see what conditions it's living in, and that will help you get a gut instinct about whether you can trust the breeder or not. Number six, will the breeder let you meet the kitten's parents? Now, also another important one to note, because if you meet the kitten's parents, then you might be able to get an idea about how healthy those cats are and if they have any particular issues or quirks that you might only notice when you actually see them. Now, if a breeder doesn't want you to meet the kitten's parents, you've got to ask yourself why. And finally, does the kitten have a full vaccination history and health check? because these are standard when you're purchasing a Maine Coon kitten. Now here's a few tips on the type of breeders that you should just avoid. And if you come across one during your search for a Maine Coon kitten or cat, just walk away. One of the first little tricks that some breeders who are a little bit less ethical do is they ask for a deposit before you even see the Maine Coon kitten or cat. Now this is completely unnecessary and you should be able to actually see your cat or kitten prior to making any financial deposit. You should also be a bit wary if the breeder cannot provide 
multiple photographs of the advertised Maine Coon. Now I say this because some less desirable breeders, we're going to call them, actually just take stock photos off the internet. Another warning sign is when a breeder requests money be transferred outside your country of residence. Now this is an absolute no-no, just don't do it. Another thing you should watch out for is sale advertisements using poor quality English. If the breeder you're speaking to cannot provide certification that the kitten is a purebred Maine Coon pedigree cat, then also think twice. One of the most important tips that I can give you when purchasing a Maine Coon cat is that you've got to use your gut instinct. If something doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. These include TICA, CFA, MCBFA, and FIFE. I think it's important to note at this point that it isn't mandatory for Maine Coon cat breeders to sign up to any of these organisations. However, if they have, it kind of, in my view, adds to the breeder's level of trustworthiness and authenticity in such a crowded marketplace. Breeders signing up to these Maine Coon cat clubs are not automatically trustworthy though, so do bear this in mind.